Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 116 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career and as you can see there, we are starting off today's episode with a home match in the Premier League taking on Swansea City. Now it is December the 9th, so we've just got a couple of weeks to go before the January transfer window opens and then of course some offers will be coming in for Kai. Now we don't really want to be accepting the first one no matter who it's going to be coming from. Now, well, I hope there are going to be some offers for Kai in January. Uh, I want to wait and see see who we can get. We want to get a couple of offers before we start really considering them. Uh, but wait and see. Let's finish off December before we even think about the January transfer window. We've got about, I'd say about four or five games, possibly a couple more before the window actually opens. As Kai's through here, takes on the shot, but good save there from the Swansea goalkeeper. And that one goes behind for an Arsenal corner, which didn't come to anything. So we're going to move straight on. 20 minutes played here at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal in possession, pushing forward again. Still 0-0 though, but we are attacking on this near side. Here's Tafari Moore for the Arsenal. He just loses out, but he does win it back again. Good play from him. Now El Nene, more centrally now to Kamara, now Ozil. Kai's in some space here, edge of the area. He takes the shot on, but he hits the woodwork. Unlucky there. Probably could have ran that one on a little bit closer, but he decided to take the shot from the edge of the area. And he was unlucky because he did hit the crossbar. So 23 minutes played. And still Arsenal nil. Swanson nil. As we approach half time now. Good bit of skill there from Kai. But good defender there from Swansea. Uh, he read the play there and manages to get the ball clear. So Arsenal back in possession now. And here is Tafari Mall once again. A couple of minutes remain in this first half. Ozil to Kai. Good hold up play here from Kai. Plays the ball forward for Kamara. Space opening up here. Kai to El Nene and there's Ozil. Oh, how did he drag that one wide? Uh, I think he was offside anyway. He wouldn't have counted even if it did go in. But Meza Ozil, that one should have gone into the back of the net. So into the second half now. Just over an hour played here at the Emirates Stadium. Still 0-0. Who's going to break the deadlock? Is it going to be Arsenal here? Good save there from the Swansea keeper again. Yeah, but it was another first time shot from the AI, which... Really does bug me, but it is the AI. What can you do? It is FIFA 17 after all, and it looks like, boys, this one is going to end nil nil. We're into the final minute now. Arsenal, possibly one last chance in this game as Kai plays it through there, but a little bit too much on that one, and it goes straight into the hands of the Swansea keeper. And now we're just waiting for that final whistle to blow. Unless we ever got one more chance here. Kai's pushing forward, plays a nice little through ball there for Barnes. Barnes tries to cross in towards Kai. Kai couldn't get there. Defender gets in the way. And that is the last action of the game. So at the Emirates Stadium in the Premier League, it does end Arsenal nil. Swansea nil. Kai finishing the game with a 7.4 rating. Not the best, but hopefully we can turn things around against Co uh, Coventry. Why did I say Coventry? I have no idea why I said Coventry. But of course, it is Crystal Palace. So a bit of a London derby this one, also away from home, not too far to travel. And let's see what we can do against the Eagles. Hopefully we can get the victory, of course, get ourselves back to winning ways after that disappointment against Swansea City. We still are unbeaten in the Premier League, as you may remember. We're going to try and go unbeaten as long as possible here at Arsenal in this final season, of course, before we do move in January. We are going to be moving in January, boys. Uh, pretty confident that we will get the offers that we want as Arsenal win a free kick there three and a half minutes in Kai gets taken down so a little bit of a dangerous area and it's going to be Boga who steps over this one I don't think he's going to go for the shot he should just um, lift it over which he does and there's El Nene he heads it into the back of the net and that is a great goal there for Arsenal early as well four and a half minutes gone it's Crystal Palace nil, Arsenal won, and things looking much better than they were against Swansea City. He goes straight over to Mustafi, is that? It is Mustafi. A good friendship there, of course. Arsenal teammates. And here come the rest of the crew. So always nice to get that early goal, of course. And El Nene doesn't score many goals. And Arsenal actually don't score many from set pieces. So nice in many ways to get that one in. How many is that for the season for El Nene? It's his second Premier League goal of the season. As we move on now, and it's Crystal Palace looking to get themselves back into this game. But Arsenal win possession back. Here's Mandy. Plays the ball forward for Kamara. Now Kai. 
Could give it back to Kamara, but he's powering his way through here. And that's a beautiful little through ball. Unlucky there. I think that was a great save there from the goalkeeper. But a beautiful bit of play there from Kai. He ran past two players, played the through ball in. And then look at that. That arm of the Crystal Palace goalkeeper keeps it out. It goes out of play for an Arsenal corner. Which is swung in by Rafa. Far post. Can anybody else get on that? It's going to fall to Kai. Edge of the area. He shoots, but it takes another deflection there from a Crystal Palace defender, and it goes out of play for another corner. That corner didn't come to anything, so now we are approaching half time. Still, Arsenal lead one goal to nil. Crossed in there, and the goalkeeper can only parry it out straight forward as well. Yeah, but thankfully, Arsenal were there to react and win possession back. Here's El Nene. Now, Rafa. Can see Kai making a run there. If Boga can play it through, he does. Is he going to do his normal skill? No, he just cuts inside, gives it back to Boga. Boga shoots, low driven shot. And that doubles the lead just before half time. It's now Crystal Palace nil, Arsenal 2. And things are looking good now for the Gunners. And there are the away fans as well, cheering away. Looking absolutely uh, pleased with themselves. And it's always good to be back to winning ways. And I can't see Crystal Palace scoring, to be fair. It's the first goal of the season then for Boga. Jeremy Boga, I think his first name is. And Granit Xhaka has picked up a yellow card. Not sure what that was for. Yeah, but onwards we go. Crystal Palace. Oh, bit of risky defending there. And Kai's going to make him pay. If he can just hold him off, he does. One-on-one -on -one with a keeper. Surely he's not going to miss. Of course he's not going to miss. Kai scores to give, it, to give Arsenal a three-goal lead now. Uh, things looking... Very, very good indeed for Arsenal and for Kai as we head towards January. And easy three points here today. Look at that poor mistake there from the Crystal Palace defence. Kai's going to make you uh, regret that. Of course, he does punish them. Easy goal for him. How many is that for the season? That's his 13th Premier League goal of the season now. And he's pushing forward here, looking for a fourth. And he just needs a little bit of support. Can he go all the way himself? He's cut inside. The defender was there. Oh, is it the Woodward? Renato Sanchez. He got to the ball the quickest, got the shot off, but couldn't get it uh, into the back of the net, unfortunately. The woodwork saving Crystal Palace that time, and they're pushing forward. Are they going to get a late consolation goal? No, they are not. Good defensive work there from Arsenal. And now there is the final whistle. I was going to say maybe a chance for one more goal, but the final whistle does blow. A good performance all round for Arsenal, and of course a man of the match performance there from Kai. He picks up one goal and one assist. And finishes the game with a 9.1 rating. And as you can see, it is December the 3rd. It is 23rd even. December the 23rd. So just a couple of days to go before Christmas. And we've got another Premier League game. This one against Middlesbrough. And of course, we are the home side. So back in front of the home fans after that little bit of travelling to Crystal Palace. And of course, we are back to winning ways as well after that game. So let's continue that form going into the new year. As Middlesbrough have themselves an early free kick. It's Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain who gave that free kick away. Come on, don't let them do what we did to Crystal Palace. An early free kick led to the goal. The new swing in and headed away. Good play there from Semedo. Good defending from him. And now we just need to get this ball clear. And uh, we do. And Arsenal attacking on this near side now. Here is Alex Oxley chamberlain He crosses into the middle. Kai sliding in there, but he was unable to reach it. Can he keep it in though? It bounces out for a, a Middlesbrough throw. It looked like it was going to go for a goal kick for a second, but it did hit that corner post. And Arsenal have actually won themselves a free kick here. Bit of a dangerous area. Kai's going to step over it. He does lift it into that far post. There's El Nene. Unlucky. Kieran Gibbs. Kieran Gibbs again. Oh, Gibbsy. The Arsenal left back. Kieran Gibbs doesn't score many goals. But what a cracking one that is. That gives Arsenal a one goal lead. Just over 15 minutes played here at the Emirates Stadium. Yeah, a bit of rainfall falling as well. It is Arsenal 1, Middlesbrough 0. And already we are looking good for the three points. Look at this from Gibbsy. First shot was blocked, but then... It fell Carly on his left boot. Top corner. Goalkeeper nowhere near that. And there is Kieran Gibbs scoring his first goal for Arsenal in the season. I don't know if he's got any more um, since we've been here. I don't think he has. I think that's his first goal uh, since Kai joined. A nice ball over the top. Finds Kai. Good control from him. Two players in support. Rafa 
Plays it back through for Kai. Kai's 1-1 one -on -one with a keeper and he slots it coolly past the goalkeeper to double Arsenal's lead. That bumps him up to an 8.1 rating. Good play there as well from Rafa to find that through ball and a simple finish in the end. From Kai to score his, is that his 14th? Yeah, that's his 14th Premier League goal of the season. He's having an absolutely fantastic season. And here he is again in possession. Good footwork there from Kai. And we're looking for a third here. This could get dangerous for Millsborough. Rafa to Kai. Kai, oh, great save there from the goalkeeper. That should have been the third, but the goalkeeper makes a cracking save. Look at this. All he had to do is slot it past him, but for some reason he decided to hit it with his left boot. And the goalkeeper makes a deflection and gets an out of plate for an Arsenal corner. Could still score from this, and I say that, but that is a terrible corner there from Rafa. Not quite sure what he was thinking, so that was the last action of the game. We did get the three points. Kai finishing the game with an 8.1 rating, getting a goal as well. So, looking good so far to end our career on a high. Still unbeaten in the season, remember. And next up for Arsenal, actually on Christmas Day, December the 25th, 2023. On Christmas Day, we are away from home, travelling to the Midlands to take on West Bromwich Albion. Come on, AI, don't let me down. We don't let me lose in this um, unbeaten run. Welbeck starts in place of Kai. Oh, no, things are not looking good. West Brom do take the lead. But there is Danny Welbeck. He levels things up. And there Gibbs again. Two goals in two games now for Kieran Gibbs. That is pretty insane. Uh, he's just been replaced as well by Ram McNally. Uh, just over an hour gone, 20 minutes to play now. Arsenal still leading. Oh, Francis Coughlin gets a third for Arsenal. That might wrap up the three points. Indeed it does.